In this video, you will learn how to define organization departments like sales department, research and development department, administration department and so on. And then we will uh, talk about creation of employee details. So after creating all the payheads, you need to come out of the payhead creation screen. So press the escape key and come out of payhead creation screen and press the escape key again and in the payroll info menu select the option employee groups and by creating groups we will define departments like sales administration and so on and select the option create which is under single group and type the name of the department that you would like to create so i would like to create a department for sales so i will specify the name over here and for the field under select the option primary and we need to define salary details for this department so change this option to yes by pressing the letter y and hit the enter key over here we are now required to define the salary structure for sales department and we need to be very careful as to selection of pay heads we first select all the earning pay heads followed by employee deduction payheads and then finally we add all the employer contribution payheads so we will first begin with the payhead basic and for sales department an employee earns a basic of 18000 rupees so specify that information in the rate column and then press the enter key and then select the next payhead which is hra and HRA would be calculated based on basic at 40% so we are not allowed to specify the rate details for this payhead and then add the payhead conveyance and the organization is providing a conveyance of 800 rupees for employee working in sales department and finally overtime is paid at rupees 50 rupees per hour with this we added all the earning payheads now we will keep adding all the employee deduction payheads beginning with professional tax followed by employee pf deduction and employee esi deduction and then we will add all the employer contribution beginning with employer eps at 8.33 followed by employer pf and finally employer esi at 3.25% so we added all the payheads for the salary structure so this is how your final salary structure should look like and then press ctrl a to save the salary structure details and also save the group details by pressing the letter y and similarly you can continue to create another group with another department name and define its salary details with different basic or different convenience amount so I'm not going to create any more departments and we will now create employee details. So press the escape key and come out of employee groups menu by pressing the escape key again. And in the payroll info menu, select the option employees and select the option create. And now in the employee creation screen, we are required to add employee details and the details that I'm going to enter are as follows. The name of the employee that I'm going to enter here would be Ramesh Kumar and I'm not going to provide any alternate name for this employee and the name that I would like to display for this employee in the payslip would be Ramesh Kumar itself and this employee belongs to the sales group so select the group sales in case if you want to assign this employee to sales department or if you do not want to assign it to any department then select the option primary so here i will select the option sales and assuming that this employee joined the organization on 1st of april 2019 so i will retain the default or date value for this field now press the enter key and for the field defined salary details change this option to yes by pressing the letter y and press the enter key now at this point we are required to define the salary details for this particular employee so you can either define 
a new salary structure by selecting the option start afresh or you can copy the salary structure details from the employee group to which we have assigned him so since we have assigned him to the sales group we are going to copy the salary structure details from the group by selecting the option copy from employee group so i select that option and press the enter key and i will be asked to select the group so i'll select the group as sales so you can see that the structure which we defined for sales department has been copied to the employee details and after importing the salary structure details you can press control a to save the salary structure information and now you are required to add some general information about the employee like his employee number in the organization so i'll specify it as something like 1234 his designation as intern and then you can keep on adding all the details like function location his gender and so on so i will add the details as follows so i filled up the remaining fields as follows so you can see here i added some personal information like his date of birth his blood group name of his father his address phone number email details and some statutory details like his pan number pf account number eps account number and so on and you can also add some additional details by pressing the f12 key and change the option provide passport and visa details to yes in case if you want to add information for passport number and country of issue and so on so all these are optional uh, fields that you can either enter details for it or you can leave it blank and then finally save the employee creation and with this we are done with all the setup part for payroll in the next video we will see how salary is auto calculated based upon the attendance data